I just remember my fiance just holding my hand because I had just gone just completely just cold and still. My name's Mandy. I was diagnosed with cervical cancer, stage 2B, in October last year. My name is Maya, and last year I was diagnosed with high-grade pre-cervical cancer abnormalities. When I walked in to see the consultant, I knew it was quite serious by the, the file and the size of the file he had on his desk. It was literally the day that just changed my life completely. It's just one of those parts where you don't realise how important it is until something happens to it. And after examining me, he told me there and then that he was 99% sure it was cervical cancer. In the following weeks, everything was just, just a whirlwind. Going to hospital, being really confused. I went through the testing, I had biopsies, uh, and then I had a hysterectomy, uh, plus I had spread into my lymph nodes and um, that was all removed. I was trying to remind myself to breathe. Just breathe, and that was just the one thing I was focusing on as she was just talking on the phone, trying to book me in and make sure that I could have the surgery. I always give the example of telling my 10 year old that. Sorry. I had missed, I think, two smear tests due to. Uh, work commitment, I lead a very busy life um, and I always had a good excuse in my head to justify why I shouldn't go. I just kept thinking, why didn't I do this sooner? Why? After being through the, the medical side after diagnosis, I would strongly recommend that you go for the smear test. There are so many different repercussions in so many different areas of your life just from this one thing. I don't know if, now that I'm married, if I can have children. I think everyone knows that a smear test isn't pleasant, but it is bearable and it's over so quickly. So many of my friends are scared of having the test. They don't want to go because it's embarrassing and I felt exactly the same. It absolutely isn't as bad as you would imagine. Feeling anxious about the unknown is completely normal, but it's better to know than not know because once you get it done, there's no more unknown. I do understand the pressures of being in a busy job and feeling really bad because there are lots of people that depend on you. But you know what? You need to look after yourself so that all those people that depend on you can still depend on you later. I think there's a massive mindset of it wouldn't happen to me. If you could turn back the clock six months, I would say it would never happen to me. And here I am living my journey and it did happen to me. If I hadn't had my screening when I did, I don't know where I'd be right now. It can save lives, it can save your life.